Hi hey guys, I want to show you how to remove the empty row in some query formulas that you may write. So in this case here, I'm going to grab the data. It's basically a bunch of NBA basketball games and then the team score and the opponent score. So I'm going to select the team name, column J, and then the average of the team score and then the average of the opponent score, group by J. Now what happens is that it's going to always remove an empty row because it's going to always show an empty row because the data that I selected is from G1 to the very bottom of M, right? So it goes to the very bottom. If I wanted to make it G16, uh, let's see, I, make, I want to make it to M16, the empty row wouldn't show up, right? But the problem is we usually want to have it um, not have a restriction because we want to add more data in over here. So the way that you do that is after the select clause, you want to type in where... And then just use the, I always just use the column um, that I have, I select from. So I'm going to say where J is not null. Now you want to type it exactly like that. You can type it in lowercase or uppercase. It doesn't really matter. It is not null. And then you'll see that the empty row is going to be removed. And the reason for that is because what this means is it's going to select all of this data where column J is not empty. So you can technically use any column that you know for sure is going to have a value in it. That's my suggestion. And in this case, I know that I'm always going to have an opponent name. Um, so I'm basically saying select this data where column J is not empty. So this is uh, how you remove the empty row. And I basically add it into almost all of my query functions just to make sure that there is no empty row in the top because it looks kind of bad. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions, guys. Make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. And let me know if there's any other topics you want me to make. That is amazing.